now we will talk about the 12 principles of Agile. Like we said, Agile is based on four values, and from the values we have 12 principles. The 12 principles can be divided into three major categories. The first three principles are talking about delivering working software. Then we have four principles talking about the flexible design and adapting to change. Then we have five principles talking about collaborative communication and organization. So let's start with the first principle. Our highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early and continuous delivery of valuable software like we said we want customer collaboration we want working software how will we do this by satisfying the customer through early and continuous delivery we want to deliver our software early and continuous and we will see how do we do this in the next videos the second principle deliver working software frequently at intervals of between a few weeks to a few months with a preference to the shorter time scales so we will deliver our software at intervals which we call sprints or iterations for example each two weeks we will show the customer a progress in our software the progress will be by delivering working functionality like we said we don't want documentation the third principle working software is the primary measure of progress so what is the measure of progress in agile working software like we said in the four values working software is more important than comprehensive documentation then we have this principle welcome changing requirements even late in development agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage so if the customer changes his requirements he wants anything else in the software we don't have any problem we will do it and we will think of new ways to implement what the customer wants because customer collaboration is more important than contract negotiation the next principle continuous attention to technical excellence and good design enhances agility so if you want to be agile you must do the things right from the first time you must take care about technical excellence and your design if you do the things in a bad way there will be a technical debt that you will suffer from in the future agile processes promote sustainable development the sponsors developers and users should be able to maintain a constant pace indefinitely so in agile we want everyone on the team to have a constant pace all of us are improving at the same time no one of us is very good and no one of us is very bad if we find someone late and he can't keep pace with us we should pull him with us and help him to be on the same development level of the rest of the team the next principle simplicity the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is essential what does this mean this means that anything that doesn't give me value in agile i will not do it if writing test cases will take a lot of time and will not give me the value that I want, I will not write test cases. And like this in any software activity that we do. If this software activity doesn't give me value, doesn't add value to my project, I will not do it and I will maximize amount of work not done. Then the principles that are talking about collaborative communication and organization. The first, build projects around motivated individuals. Give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. If you want to have a good agile team, you must choose your people wisely. You need to choose motivated individuals who want to be agile, who want to get the job done. The next principle, the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. Agile doesn't like the idea of micromanagement, while the manager is ordering everyone what they should do. No, in Agile, we, the team, self-organize ourselves. We are the persons who assign tasks to themselves, and we are the ones who measure our progress. The next principle, business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. Okay, so the person from the business who is representing the customer and the developers and testers, of course, must work together daily. There must be a relationship between them and feedback every day. And we will say, how do we implement this in our projects in next videos. Next, the most efficient and effective method of conveying information to and within a development team is face-to-face -face conversation. So if we want to communicate with anyone, the best way to deliver information, the best way to communicate is face-to-face -face conversation. This is better than emails, than telephone calls, than anything else. The last principle is, at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly so our team each period of time must reflect on their behavior their performance and say what are the things that we are doing in a wrong way how do we 
improve them and so on this is called retrospective and there will be a separate video for it in the future so these are the 12 principles of agile